Here is a machine that can read your notebooks, analyze. All right, so that is me, Ansh Mehra, and that's Jason, a computer science student from Stanford University, and that is a legit book reading robot his team made at TreeHacks. By the way, this project won four 3D printers. This project won the grand prize at TreeHacks, which was ten thousand dollars cash. And he wasn't the only one building cool things, because I also met Jenny from Princeton University. Who, along with her team, created a VR app for long-distance relationships. All of this happened during a very special event at Stanford University, where I was invited as a judge and a mentor for their annual hackathon, Tree Hacks. Hackathons are not just for developers, and as a student, you can also travel to places like MIT, Harvard, Microsoft Imagine Cup, and Stanford if you know what a hackathon is. And how do you compete at it? So in this vlog, I'll not only explain you what is a hackathon, but also the skill sets you need to get invitations for such amazing events. I will be showcasing what projects they've made, what all skills and tech stack have they used, and most importantly, what can you as a beginner learn from them. And yes, hackathons are not just for programmers. I am a designer, and I have been to international hackathons as a student living in India. I've competed at Hack Harvard, Hack MIT, and Microsoft Imagine Cup. So I'm telling you, it is a brilliant opportunity, and I really want you to watch this video till the end because I will be sharing you the exact step-by-step -step guide on how you can apply for such hackathons as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is James. And that is an AI-powered robotic arm that they titled Baymax. This project won the grand prize of ten thousand dollars cash, almost eight point two lakh rupees. Let me show you why they won. So let me explain. Assume that James is a really old guy and he needs help to take his medicine. So he speaks. Could I have the pink pill this time? Could I have the pink pill this time? <laughs> I am happy to help. The robot then uses computer vision to figure out which pill is the right one and feeds it to James. Now, isn't that impressive? Are you satisfied? Very cool. Yes, thank you. Now before we move ahead it's very important for you to understand as to what exactly is a hackathon and how is it different from any other competition or an event most hackathons are overnight competitions where students come together gather in a venue and stay for either 24 hours or 48 hours overnight to build mvps which are basic versions of their products they're not fully end to end build products but basically a prototype or a concept of something that they're trying to build so you don't need to be an expert to compete at tech hackathons but you 100% need a technical team because tech hackathons always require technical developers and designers and i'll tell you more about this as we move ahead but now i just want to take some time to appreciate how amazing stanford tree hacks was this was the venue there were unlimited snacks and beverages companies like pinterest intel and canva were giving away free stickers and goodies there was an artist who was making live art there was another artist who was creating these super cool balloon figures and some of those balloons were very very cool like this is a legit balloon version of the apple vision pro by the way quick plug we've released a proper course on spatial design for the apple vision pro make sure you check it out by going to the link in description it's all available for free all right before i lose track let's just talk about the important stuff first now a very big misconception that most students have is that hackathons is only for developers or programmers but that is not true In a hackathon multiple companies come together and give problem statements and as a designer you can be a part of a technical team and be responsible to make their website or their product when i was studying computer science in india i was very fortunate to get selected at hack mit hack harvard and microsoft imagine cup and all of these hackathons have online applications you can very easily go to a website like mlh.io which is major league hacking or any of the websites that these hackathons have i personally follow all of these hackathons instagram pages and they regularly upload stories about each other's hackathons so it's a great way to stay updated with everything that's happening all around the world in most cases hackathons have specific tracks these tracks 
tracks are basically subject domains. For example, one track could be fintech or biotech or web3 or blockchain. So these tracks are essentially subject domains. Now within tracks, you have multiple problem statements, which means that if you select the track of blockchain, within blockchain, you would have an option to choose between four to five problem statements. Now you can come as an individual or you can form a team at the hackathon itself. However, I would always recommend you to go with a team beforehand because it's very tricky to rely on ground to find good enough team members. The most exciting part is that a lot of tech companies come to these hackathons hackathons they have these very interesting stalls where they give away merchandise stickers and t-shirts and most importantly they give out internships and job opportunities as well sometimes they also sponsor specific problem statements for example a tech company can actually say that this is the domain that we're working in these are three problem statements and if you solve even one of these problem statements then you can win a macbook pro now to be honest you can start going for hackathons in your college as well. My first hackathon was in first year of college and I was really bad at it, but it inspired me to learn more. And with time, me and my friend Saranj, we started competing at hackathons every month and our entire college life was really enhanced because of these experiences. But I know that most of you can feel shy or nervous and I have been there as well. And all of this fear and nervousness can really hold you back. So today was day two at Stanford Tree Hacks. It was such a great experience. It's slightly raining right now. I know the lighting is bad, uh, but just wanted to encapsulate what all happened. Right, I came and there were so many people working and of course I didn't know anyone, but in a span of two to three hours, I started to speak to one person and that one person introduced me to somebody else. And the most important thing that has helped me in these events is that I always had something interesting to talk about. I think that is the most valuable thing that you can have as a person when you're going to these networking events. Number one, have something very interesting to talk about. Number two, having the ability to speak about it fluently, clearly, with full confidence. And number three, just knowing when to stop, when to listen, and when to exit a conversation. A lot of people don't really know what to say, how to say, when to listen, when to pause. And of course, there's no course for it. Okay, so that's enough Gyan. Let me show you some pitches from the hackathon to understand what all can we learn from them. Let's go back to Jason's notebook reading robot that won those super cool 3D printers. Open it. Like, what should be the opening statement? This is a book digitizing robot, which this this is a robot that scans entire books with zero human intervention. At, awesome. At 10% the cost. Awesome. Uh, you can hit rolling. Hit record. Awesome. Folks, this one is an absolute gem. Here is a machine that can read your notebooks, analyze them, create summaries with absolute accuracy. Let us know how you made this. Of course. So this consists of two parts. First, we have the robot here, and it flips through the book. It scans through the pages, and then it brings it to our online dashboard after being scanned by this phone over here. So the online dashboard summarizes the books that you've scanned. Then it gives you an iconic quote. So this is actually my journal entry from when I was in middle school. It's kind of, <laughs> hey, don't expose me. Um, then we have the transcript, a word cloud, and a PDF. And the reason we were inspired to make this was for two reasons. The first is that the Stanford Library has one of these, but it costs $50,000 and it fills an entire room. Uh, we really want to digitize knowledge, but only 12% of books ever published are digitized. The second is more personal. One of my closest friends' house burned down, and one of the things that he misses the most is his child photos and his journal from when he was a kid, and it's all lost forever. So there's this saying that in order to understand the past, we must preserve its knowledge, and we're trying to do that here. And how have you built this? What would be the tech stack behind this? So mechanical, Scott and Lawton can speak a lot more to it, um, but uh, we used Fusion 360 to build this and run four 3D prints at the same time. And then the, the phone camera uh, is connected through OpenCV, it brings it to my computer. Um, it's actually productionized. You can go to the website, but it's for sale. Next.js. Um, we use Google Cloud Vision API to scan the book, um, and then uh, we use GPT-4 to analyze the entries. The next pitch was about virtual reality dating. This is how they pitched me their product. It's Valentine's Day weekend, and I'm spending it at Tree Hacks. I miss my boo so much. I wish he were here right now. Hey babe, wanna go on a date? Hi, Let's DoorDash some MoMA. 
delivery request submitted for two orders of boba. Some important lessons, some important patterns that I saw in everybody's project were that they were heavily relying on open source. A lot of these people were not too much focused about the aesthetics or the branding. They were completely focused on the functionality, which is the most important thing when you're building an MVP. I find a lot of hackathon competitors focusing too much about the logo, the name, the UI, the sign up, the onboarding. Whereas in reality, nothing of those things matter when you're in a pitch. It is so interesting to see that all of these ideas and pitches were created in just 48 hours because all of these hackathons are not about perfection, but about stitching things together, learning with other people and just building an MVP. Now, if you're wondering how to learn more about all of these pitches and how did they even make all of this, then don't worry because every single project made at this hackathon has been carefully documented on this free website called DevPost. And this is where all the competitors had to upload their project files. All information about the winners, projects, students, their portfolios, literally everything is available online for free. So you can read about their project and also connect with them on LinkedIn. It's just that most people don't even know about this. And I'll put all the links in description. I want you to comment below if you were looking for something just like this. Now, I don't want you folks to get very intimidated by all of this. It takes time to become good at something. But while you're on this journey, you need to remember three key things. Number one, get aware. Understand that hackathons are a thing and they happen in India and all over the world. You can go to this website called MLH.io. MLH stands for Major League Hacking and they have a very long list of hackathons that happen all around the world, both virtual and in person. I've already created a very detailed video on hackathons as well, where I've in detail explained all of my experiences and a step-by-step -step approach on how you can apply for these hackathons. I'll put the link in description. Point number two, start from DevPost. Every important information about these events, projects, student profiles, skills, tech stacks, everything is available on MLH.io and DevPost. So please make sure that you're updated by going to these websites. Point number three, start learning daily. Set one hour every single day without distractions and start learning new things. But those new things need to be relevant in your own career and they need to be skills that will be relevant in the future. Now you can learn every skill mentioned on these websites for free from YouTube. Only hardware skills are tough to practice because there is an upward cost. But when it comes to coding or design or algorithms or even data structures, you can very easily learn and practice for free. Now, there were a lot of pitches, but I've picked the most interesting ones to learn from. I'll paste all of their links in description. Your call to action is to go through all the projects that I've shared in description and document three things about them. And if you do this, I'm telling you, you will get a lot of ROI from just this one video. Point number one, learn from their style of communication. How did they communicate and pitch their product, both in their demo videos and in text? Point number two, functional and visual design. Notice the way they designed their pitch, not just in terms of visuals, but also the structure and the flow of their pitch. Point number three, the tech stack. Make a list of tech frameworks that they have used and ask yourself, which ones are you interested in? So you know what to learn from YouTube or AI. Wait, learn from AI? Yes, I want you to start using AI to learn new skills. It could be Claude, ChatGPT or Gemini. Even the free plans work very well for basic guidance. We've already made dozens of videos on AI on our YouTube channel. You can also visit our free learning platform, howtoprompt.in to get all our free AI courses. Similarly, you can learn UX and product design for free from learnuiux.in as well. I'll paste all of these links in description. Let me know in the comments if you're excited about this new journey. I would prefer if you document your learnings in the comment section itself because I would love to read what you learned today. Now, I also need to be honest about some things. Not every single project at Treehacks got a prize. There were many teams who could not develop their idea on time. And that happens. It's completely okay. But if you're planning to build something, either for a competition or for your own startup, then it's super important to know the fundamentals of building something that people want. That's why Combinator's most popular advice 
make something people want. In fact, they have these grey t-shirts that they give on the first day of you joining YC. And then there's one black t-shirt they give you after you've exited your IPO that says, I made something people want. Now, if you don't know what's YC, it's a startup accelerator and venture capital firm. They fund startup ideas and till now, I think they've launched more than 4,000 companies. In fact, during Tree Hacks, I got a chance to meet Dalton Caldwell, who's also a partner at YC. And I attended a live session by him at Tree Hacks and it just made me realize so many things. Because when I joined Zadl, I used to spend hours watching videos of him and Michael, who are both partners at YC. And as a designer and as a budding entrepreneur, I have learned so much from them. It is insanely valuable content. So as soon as I stepped out of his session at Rehacks, I knew that I had to record everything important I learned from him. There's this YouTube channel called Y Combinator The Vault. And it has this extremely valuable playlist titled How to Start a Startup that has extremely detailed lectures by legends like Sam Altman, Peter Thiel, Paul Graham, and so many more. I'll paste the link to that playlist in description. If you're a budding entrepreneur or even a product designer, I'm telling you this one single playlist is golden. Now, visiting Treehacks as a judge and a mentor was truly an honor. In fact, I was visiting San Francisco for the very first time and I met such amazing people throughout my trip. So I basically wanted to discuss a startup idea that I've been thinking about with senior folks from the industry. And now that I'm back, I'm trying to work on it day by day. I'll share an update on that very soon. But all of these memories from the trip really, really opened up my mind. And that is why I made sure that I record and document all important lessons for each and every one of you. Because when I was a college student, such videos really inspired me to step up. And I really, really hope that this video inspired you to upskill yourself and apply for such opportunities. In fact, I shared so many things from my trip on my Instagram broadcast community. If you still haven't joined it, scan this QR code and join our daily discussions. There is a lot that we discuss on the broadcast. Apart from Stanford, I also saw the Apple Park that had these amazing futuristic demos. I actually made a very cool reel on it as well. It's on my Instagram. They also had this augmented reality based tour of their office and folks, it was so well made. The kind of interactions it had, the tracking, it was just so impressive. I also invested in the Apple Vision Pro, which was a huge investment for me, but I knew that this year I have to learn about spatial design and teach to you as well. We've already made so many videos on our channel explaining how the Vision Pro works and we will keep releasing more and more videos. So make sure you click on subscribe right now and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. In fact, I also gave live AI masterclasses to product designers, founders and CTOs from the Silicon Valley. The first video is already out. So if you haven't seen it yet, please do. You'll find the link in description. Now, if you liked this kind of a semi-vlog content, then do comment below. I need to know if this content was helpful to you or not. And if you want to see more content like this, my team and I worked really hard to stitch this video together. With that being said, I hope that you're taking care of your mind and body. This is your dost Ansh Mehra signing out. If you enjoyed this video, then do check out this video of the same series. I am sure that it will help you even more.